Hi guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the last class, we discussed an introduction to the cycloalkanes, the Bayer's strain theory and its limitations. If you did not watch the video, I have given the link right below this video in the description. Watch it. In this lesson, I will tell you about Carlson Moffitt's modification theory and such a Morse theory that is the theory of strainless rings. From this lesson, you will be able to understand the Carlson and Muffet's modification theory and such a Morse theory, the theory of strainless rings. Carlson and Moffet's modification. Carlson and Moffet modified the Bayer's strain theory to show the actual position of carbon-carbon bonds in cyclopropane, which somewhat relieves the strain on carbon-carbon bonds. So, to satisfy regular tetrahedral geometry that is 109.5 degrees and equilateral triangle that is 60 degrees in cyclopropane, Carlson and Muffet introduced a new type of bond called bent bond which is an intermediate between sigma bond and pi bond in case of overlapping. See the figures given. In figure A, you can see the actual or maximum overlapping of sigma bonds permitted for open chain or large ring compounds. And in figure B, you can see a bent because of poor overlap for cyclopropane ring. Bent bonds have much or more P character. What is a bent bond? A bent bond is a type of covalent bond with a geometry somewhat reminiscent of a banana. The term itself is a general representation of electron density or configuration resembling a similar bent structure within small ring molecules such as cyclopropane or a representation of double or triple bonds within a compound that is an alternative to the sigma and pi bond model. The figure shown here is one of the first bent bond theories for cyclopropane that was so called carlson moffitts model. Bent bonds are special type of bonds in which the ordinary hybridization state of the two bonds making up a chemical bond are modified with the increased or decreased S orbital character in order to accommodate a particular molecular geometry. They are found in strained organic compounds such as cyclopropane, oxyrane and aziridine. In these compounds, it is not possible for the carbon atoms to assume the 109.5 degree bond angles with the standard sp3 hybridization. Increasing the p character to sp5 that is 1 by 6th s density and 5 by 6th p density makes it possible to reduce the bond angles to 60 degrees in cyclopropane. At the same time, the carbon to hydrogen bonds gain more s character which shortens them. In cyclopropane, the maximum electron density between two carbon atoms does not correspond to the internuclear axis, hence the name bent bond. In cyclopropane, the interorbital angle is 104 degrees. This bending can be observed experimentally by X-ray diffraction of certain cyclopropane derivatives. The deformation density is outside the line of centers between the two carbon atoms. The carbon-carbon bond lengths are shorter than in a regular alkane bond. Another example, cyclobutane, is a larger ring compared to cyclopropane but still has bent bonds. In this molecule, the carbon bond angles are 90 degrees for the planar conformation and 88 degrees for the puckered one. Unlike in cyclopropane, the carbon-carbon bond lengths actually increase rather than decrease. This is mainly due to 1,3 non-bonded steric repulsion. In terms of reactivity, cyclobutane is relatively inert and behaves like ordinary alkanes. Other Applications the bent bond theory or Carlson and Muffet's modification theory can also explain other phenomena in organic molecules. In fluoromethane, for instance, the experimental fluorine carbon hydrogen bond angle is 109 degrees, which is greater than the calculated value. This is because, according to Bent's rule, the carbon fluorine bond gains p orbital character, leading to high s character in the carbon hydrogen bonds, and hydrogen carbon hydrogen bond angles approaching those of sp2 orbitals, that is 120 degrees, leaving less for the fluorine carbon hydrogen bond angle. The difference is again explained in terms of bent bonds. The difference is again explained in terms of bent bonds. 
Bent bonds also come into play in the Gauchy effect, explaining the preference for Gauchy conformations in certain substituted alkanes and the alkene cis associated with some unusually stable alkene cis isomers. Such a more theory. Such a more theory is also called the theory of strainless rings. It states that carbon atoms greater than or equal to 6 in cycloalkanes, which means cyclohexanes and higher alkanes present in different plane and restore normal tetrahedral angle and ring gets puckered. The rings free from angle strain are called strainless rings. In other words, to explain the stability of a cycloalkane beyond cyclopentane, such a and more proposed this new theory that such ring which is absolutely free from strain if all the ring carbons are not in the same plane. If the ring is assumed to be a puckered condition, the normal tetrahedral angle of 109.5 degrees is retained and as a result, the strain within the ring is released, for example, cyclohexane. Cyclohexane exists in two puckered conformations, namely chair form and boat form. They are named according to their shape. Both these forms are without any single strain, hence they are strainless rings. Chair form of cyclohexane is more stable than the boat form. The reasons are illustrated here. In the chair conformation, the adjacent carbon-hydrogen bonds on all the neighboring carbon atoms are staggered. In the boat form, the adjacent carbon-hydrogen bonds on C2C3 and C5C6 are eclipsed. Hence, energy of boat form becomes more than the chair form. Out of the 12 hydrogens present in the cyclohexane, 6 of them point up or down perpendicular to the plane of the molecule. These are called axial hydrogens. The other 6 hydrogens are found either above or below the plane of the molecule. They are equatorial hydrogens. In the boat form, the two axial hydrogens on C1 and C4 are closer than in chair form. Hence, the energy of boat form is more than the chair form. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. That's all in this lesson, Carlson and Moffitt's modification and such a Morse theory. In the next video, we will discuss the chemical reactions of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.